And this segment of the Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Kent Sporting Goods in Norco. Number one in the Inland Empire for team uniforms, sports equipment, and letterman's jackets. Boost performance training in Corona. Athletes of all levels and all sports train at Boost. And also ask about the Bass Private School. Paulson Orthodontics in Redlands. Personalized treatment you deserve from an orthodontist you can trust. Chick-fil-A in Rialto, right off the 210 freeway at Ayala Drive. Eat more chicken. And what is up, everybody? You are looking live at San Bernardino Valley College, a.k.a. Death Valley, as the Wolverines are getting set to kick off the 2023 football season against San Diego Mesa. My name is Pep Fernandez. We appreciate you joining us live here at Death Valley as the Wolverines, hoping to start off 2023 with a big home win. They were winless last season, 0-10, trying to right the ship, and they've got a new head football coach coming into this year. It's going to be Yona. Ui Angalele leading the way. Head coach Daniel Algadis from the previous season still on staff as the offensive coordinator for the Wolverines. And uh, we'll see if the two can get together and bring a winner back here to SBVC. San Diego Mesa, you can see in the background on the right-hand side of your screen wearing the yellow uniforms. And uh, it'll be SBVC in the royal blue tops, black pants, and silver helmets. We appreciate you watching here live on Inland Sports. My name is Pep Fernandez. And uh, if you uh, appreciate what we're doing, we try to bring you lots of local sports, especially here in the Inland Empire. We do several live local shows here weekly. We're going to bring you live coverage of games as well. If you'd like to support what we do, there's a QR code in the corner. Uh, we're, we're not getting paid by SBVC or anybody else. We're just doing this for the community, and uh, we're just big football fans um, just like you. In just a moment, um, we got the whole team behind the scenes here. Daryl Trujillo will be your lead play-by-play -play broadcaster after this commercial break that's coming up. Jacob Pedroza might jump on as well. You might hear my voice as well, Pep Fernandez. So, again, we appreciate you tuning in. If you'd like to support what we're doing, we'd appreciate that as well so we can continue to bring you live sports coverage here on Inland Sports. And a quick plug uh, for the Friday Night Pep Rally. It's our high school football show on Friday nights. You can check it out on uh, Riverside TV. We're proud to bring you that as well. The only high school football show here in the IE. So again, a live look at SBVC. We're getting set for the national anthem to be played. So we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, it'll be just in time for kickoff between San Diego Mesa and SBVC on Inland Sports. I would say the one thing that uh, we stress more than anything else is service to our customer. Make sure that they're taking care of whatever you can do to make sure that that order gets to them on time and it's the right quality and, and what they want. I've been that way since 1976. That was my goal, to reach out to local uh, sports programs and it's grown from there and we've been very, very fortunate. My grandson is right over here. He's working for us and he's going to college right now and, and uh, that's exactly what my son did uh, 20 some years ago and it keeps on going, you know. have customers that come in the store that it's amazing uh, people that I haven't been here since I was a little kid and I used to come in here all the time and then my now I'm bringing my son in here or, or a grandpa that's bringing his grandson in here that that came in here when we first opened back in 76. Oh, we just feel so fortunate to I've been a part of this community and this Inland Empire uh, for going into our 44th year now, and um, it's just been a, a blessing.
I would say the one thing that Welcome back live to SBVC. Once again, my name is Pep Fernandez. Daryl Trujillo will be the guy guiding you through tonight's action here between San Diego Mesa and San Bernardino Valley College to kick off the season opener for both teams. We appreciate you tuning in live on Inland Sports. If you're new to the channel, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we also have a thanks button as well if you appreciate what we do here for the local community. With that said, uh, Jacob Pedroza will probably jump on as well at some point, but Daryl, big local sports fan. Make sure you follow him on Twitter. I'll let you plug your own Twitter handle here, but uh, Daryl's all over the place. A little bit of football, a lot of volleyball, and some other things, uh, but Daryl, man, appreciate having you on the broadcast, and, and take it away, brother. All right. Uh, with the dawn of Labor Day weekend, a new college football season dawns uh, across Southern California, and SBVC looks looks to right the ship after a rough 2022 campaign, as Pep alluded to. I, Yona Uyangaleli takes over the program um, as the Wolverines look to get back on course after a rough uh, season. Uh, the, they'll do so against a, probably one of the tougher opponents they could have had to start the year in San Diego Mesa, the Olympians. Champions of the Southern California Bowl last year, beating El Camino in a one-point thriller. Um, but no place like home for SBVC to start a, a new era in Wolverine football, and we're excited to bring it to you here on Inland Sports. Add, the, uh, add that one. Yeah, there you go. Yep. As our captains uh, walk over to midfield for the uh, coin toss here. And uh, SD May San Bernardino Valley has won the toss. They have elected to defer. They will receive the ball to start the second half. San Diego Mesa will receive the ki opening kick and uh, start with possession. So we'll, we'll see the uh, Wolverine defense on the field here first. Um, it was a defensive unit that struggled last year. Um, although when they played this game two years ago, it was a pretty competitive game. Uh, SBVC won 37-29 here at Death Valley in 2021. Um, the two sides did not play last year as um, a forfeit was recorded um, by SBVC. Um, so this will be a renewal of a, a longstanding rivalry going back to the days when uh, these programs were in the PCAC together. Um, the Pacific Coast Athletic Conference, which primarily served the uh, – San Diego Junior Colleges, along with uh, MSJC, College of the Desert, and SBVC. Obviously, with uh, junior college realignment, like realignment everywhere else, um, teams change places all the time. And we'll get into that. Uh, those changes here a little bit later on as the uh, broadcast goes on. But for now, the Wolverine Special Teams Unit and the Mesa Special Teams Unit are on the field as we get ready to kick off the 2023 season. Arroyo Valley graduate Cronus Rodriguez is the kick man for uh, SBVC. And deep for the Wolverines is Jaleel Tucker. Tucker up the left side, cuts back middle, has an opening down the left side, gets it all the way out to the SBVC 48 before he's knocked out of bounds. Nice return for the Olympians to start off the 2023 season. Kick 
Nice tackle by Rodriguez that very likely saved a touchdown. Um, not the start the Wolverines were looking for on the special team side, but very fortunate that the kicker was there to stop that longer return. Wolverines take the field for the first possession on offense. Starting at quarterback is... First down and 10. Play action. Oh, Mesa goes deep over the middle. Oh, pass broken up. Tw number 21, Thomas Thompson Jr. on the pass breakup. Really aggressive play call by the Olympians on their first call of the season. Nice throw, bro but it was broken up at the uh, Wolverine 10. Second and 10 for San Diego Mesa from the 48. Underneath throw is incomplete by the Wolverines. Wolverines facing a third and 10 from the 48. Going over the middle again. Incomplete. No flags on the play. The Wolverines defense gets off the field on their first series of the year. And the deep man for SBVC is going to be, deep men are going to be Kalen Jackson. And... Thomas Thompson Jr. Bounces out at about the 18 yard line, which is where SBVC will take over. Fourteen twenty-six left in the first quarter as SBVC takes over on offense. Wolverines take the field on offense. Ricky Sampson Jr. will be the starter from Legacy High School in North Las Vegas, Nevada, a 6'4", 195-pound freshman. Man in motion. Thompson takes it himself. Middle run. Nice moves to the left side, to the right side of the field. He stopped at the 40. 35 yard line, that's a nice run. Thompson calls his own number and gets a first down for the Wolverines. Looks like the run's going to be erased by a block in the back penalty uh, back to the previous uh, spot, minus 15 yards. Uh, it'll be second and... Looks like second and six from the Wolverine 16. And it'll be a replay of the down with the penalty.
Looks like another flag on the play. Middle run is good for about four pending the penalty, but the Wolverines look like they're gonna have another penalty, possibly a false start. Let's see what the call is. Illegal formation, offense, five yard penalty, still first down. It's another penalty against the Wolverines, illegal formation this time on top of a chop block. Wolverines really behind the sticks here. Read option, snuffed out, no gain. We have second and 14 for SBVC as the Wolverines uh, take a timeout. So far, not the start that the either offense uh, was looking for, especially uh, San Diego Mesa after having r really good field position off that kick return. Um, this Wolverine drive has been stagnated by a pair of penalties, and th every offensive coordinator's worst nightmare is being you know, behind the down and distance game, and that's what SBBC is looking at here. Clock is running out of the timeout. 13.25 left as we look at second and 14 for the Wolverines. Snap is dropped. Wolverines are backed up to their own uh, three yard line now. Looking at a third and 14, or 19 now. Three-step drop, screen pass over the middle, complete to Sateki Mahi, or no, to Jackson, to Keelan Jackson. Uh, minimal gain on the play, and uh, the, yeah, uh, SBVC offense uh, goes three and out on their first series of the year. Late man on the field, snap is just barely off, does not appear so. Let's see what we got here. Doesn't look like a penalty is going to be issued there. The play clock was late to reset. So we'll, re we'll replay fourth and 14 from the Wolverine uh, six, it looks like. Punt is dropped. Jordan Young up the left side is forced out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. 
Olympians with really good field position again on their second series, even better field position. I would. Let's see if the SBVC defense can get another hold. Jonah Sisu saving the uh, touchdown on that one. 19 yard return to the 31, which is where the uh, San Diego Mesa offense will take over. Clock operator, please remove the play clock from the field. Just shut it off. And our white hat is asking that the play clock be shut off, which means the officials are gonna keep the play clock on the field. Like the players, I'm sure the control crews are probably a little bit rusty too, but it happens. Quick screen for Mesa up the right side, complete to Geo Burns. He stopped at the 26, 24. James Odom, a six foot two, 210 pound sophomore handling the Olympians offense. Looks like we got a flag on the play. Tavion Tate was the ball carrier, a 5'11", 200 pound sophomore. Let's see what the call is. There is no penalty on the play. Looks like the officiating crew is gonna pick up that penalty flag. So it'll be third and four for the uh, Olympians. And this would be a victory for the SBVC defense to get out of here on this play. Four down linemen for the Wolverines. Looks like they're gonna load the box. Looks like a blitz is on. Pass is complete underneath to Santiago Salas. Let's see where they spot it. And it looks like they were looks like they were just shy of a first down, fourth and a very short one. And the Wolverines are and the the Olympians are going to go for it on fourth and short. And an offsides penalty by the Wolverines is going to give San Diego Mesa an automatic first down. Oh, that's a mistake you just can't afford to have in that spot. Oh, that's a mistake you just can't afford to have. Makes it an automatic first down for San Diego Mesa with a very short field in the red zone. They're gonna continue with possession at the 17. First and 10 from the 17. Play action fake, rolls to his right, complete to Geo Burns. Be second and goal for the San Diego Mesa offense. Odom handoff middle, that's snuffed out. Tate on the carry for no gain. Complete, touchdown Olympians. That's Burns to number seven, Cater Diop. A seven yard touchdown reception 
And last year's Southern California Bowl champions off to a good start in 2023. Point after is good for the uh, Olympians. 7 0 Wolverines with 9 18 left in the first quarter as SBVC will begin their second series. Mauricio Escudero with the uh, point after for San Diego Mesa. Back on the return for uh, SBVC will be Thomas Thompson Jr. and uh, looks like uh, Sateki Mahi. Doing the kicking for San Diego Mesa is number 88. Dazur Paget. And that's going to be a touchback for the Wolverines, who will take over at the 20. Up 25, my bad. Screen pass is incomplete. Uh, Cole Meisman from uh, Rapid City, South Dakota on the pass intended for Jackson. And that's a sack for the Olympian defense. Loss of about five for the Wolverines. In on the tackle was number 36, Tyron Washington. And Matan Morris. Wolverines looking at another uh, third and 16 here from the 19. And they've got to keep this drive alive because that if, if this is another three and out, the defense will get gassed pretty quick. Play action. Ball is out. It's live. Mesa gains possession at the seven. That's a quarterback fumble and in on the recovery. Jonathan Robles in on the fumble recovery and SD Mesa takes over on a turnover with, with a short field. Not a good start for the SBVC offense as Mesa will have a short field off the turnover.
Middle run it is stopped for a gain of about two. On the carry was Salas Santiago or Santiago Salas. Be second and four from the four. Second and goal, technically. Another middle run. Small gain. On the carry is Tate. Oh, Salas on the carry, my bad. Tate back in for Salas. It's gonna be sec uh, third and goal from the two. Big possession here for the SBVC defense. If they can get off here with holding the Olympians to a field goal, they're still in this. Quarterback rolls middle, touchdown Olympians. That's Richie Colmanero the third on the QB sneak for the touchdown. Flag late on the play, let's see what we have. Touchdown Olympians, the officials will pick up the flag. Touchdown Olympians. Rushing touchdown by the quarterback, number three, Richie Colmanero the And the extra point is good by Escudero. That's 14-0 uh, uh, Olympians with 6.57 left in the third. Kick is away for Mesa. And it'll be another SBVC touchback. Wolverines taking possession on the 25. Meisman at the controls, play action is incomplete. Intended receiver was number 11, Isaiah Hughes, a 6'5", 203-pound freshman from Seattle, Washington. Quick throw over the top. 
Flags on the play. Looks like it's going to be a pass interference against Mesa, but let's take a look. And that one. Number 29, yards from previous spot, first shot. Yep, that's a 15 yard pass interference penalty on the Mesa defense. Called against uh, Deshaun Burdett, a uh, six foot, one, 165 pound sophomore. First down, 10 Wolverines from the 40. And we got another flag on the play. False start called on the Wolverine offense. They saw the blitz coming and jumped. Just not a good start for the Wolverine offense on opening day. Can you attribute it to opening night jitters? Yep. And a really solid Mesa defense. That's the second sack for the uh, Olympian defense. In on the uh, play was number 90, uh, Jordan Young. And that sacks on back-to-back -back possessions for the Wolver or for the uh, Olympian defense. And once again, the Wolverines find themselves back behind the sticks, looking at a second and 20 from the 30. Going for the deep ball over the top. Complete down the right sideline, out of bounds at the 45. Complete by Isaiah Hughes. First down, Wolverines. Let's see if that jump starts the offense. And looks like we have a penalty on the play. No, incomplete. Third and 20 for SBVC from the uh, 30. Middle run, it pass is incomplete, intended for uh, Keelon Jackson. It's another three and out by the Olympian defense. Low squib. Dequan Davis in on the tackle for SBVC. Uh, Mesa will take over first and 10 on the 44. 5.41 left in the first, it's 14-0 Olympians for, as they take over on the 44. Yeah. 
Blitz picked up by the Olympian defense, or the offense, complete to Danny Davis, who runs it all the way down to the uh, 20. It's like uh, Mesa's trying to go with a little hurry up look here. Gain of three on the play. That's Tavion Tate on the carry for two yards. Second and eight, Mesa from the 18. Three-step drop, blitz is on. Complete to Jordan Dwyer. It's going to be. Th third and seven for the Olympians. Third and two. Third and two from the 12, and again, this is a spot where the Wolverine defense needs to get off the field. And we got the whistles blowing again. It's like a timeout by San Diego Mesa. Be there first of the half. Very likely would have saved a delay of game penalty. Blitz is coming, pass is incomplete. Tate, the intended receiver and the uh, Wolverine defense will force a uh, Mesa field goal attempt. Fourth and two from the 12. Kick is up, and it is good. That's uh, San Diego Mesa 17, SBVC nothing, 331 left in the first quarter. It's a big hold by the defense. Let's see if the offense can uh, get it in gear. Back to receive the kick are Ke Keelan Jackson and Mikai Lewis. Yeah, 
at the SBVC 5. Squib kick is bobbled by, and recovered by Jackson. Jackson up the middle, has a little bit of a lane, gets out to about the 38. Which is where the Wolverines will take over. 17-0 Mesa with 3.22 left in the uh, first quarter. Jordan Young in on the tackle for San Diego Mesa. Underneath pass incomplete off the hands of uh, Raheem Ramsey. Second and 10 for SBVC from 37. A lot of drops for the Wolverine offense early on in this one. Drops, penalties, and turnovers. The three things you can't have in an offense. Man in motion is Delano Green split out to his right. Pass is incomplete. Bishop Bell, the intended receiver, and again, the SBVC offense looking at a third and long. Sniff out the blitz. Pass is incomplete. Intended receiver was Ramsey again. It's like a quarterback and receiver were not on the same page on the route there. Back to receive for the Olympians is Jordan Young at the 26. 24. Kick cleanly fielded. Block up the left side for Young. Tries to cut back to the middle. Reverses fields, eludes a pa pair of tacklers and he's brought down at the 21. Nice job by the SBVC special teams unit. Let's see where they actually spot this. It's going to be the 23, it looks like. And at the very least, it looks like the, the Wolverine special teams unit will have reversed a field position if they can, the defense can force a, a three and out here. Man in motion, flag on the play. 
Looks like we have a false start on the Olympians. We'll replay the first down with uh, the Olympians maintaining possession at the 18. Man in motion. Looks like the blitz is there. Underneath pass is complete. And it looks like they get back to the original uh, line of scrimmage, maybe just a little bit more. In on the catch was uh, number 20, Sal Santiago Salas. And it looks like the Wolverines are going to go, or the Olympians are going to go hurry up. Play action fake, going over the middle, incomplete. The intended receiver was uh, Geo Burns. Third and nine for uh, the Olympians from the uh, 19. Big third down uh, possess stand for the Wolverines here. Step drop over the middle, so left side complete. First down. Pass complete by number nine, Josh Tendeval. First and ten Olympians. Rayshon Griffin in on the tackle. And it's the two minute drill with uh, just under two minutes left in the first quarter. Let's see how the Olympians operate. Middle run is stopped for no gain. Blitz coming, incomplete pass. In on the uh, quarterback hit there was Makai Lewis, forces a th another third and long. Let's see if they can get the stop here on this one. A little confusion on the Mesa side. Man in motion, comes set. It's like a three-man line for the Wolverines. Seven, ba eight back trying to defend against the deep ball. Penalty comes in from the back judge on the quarterback keeper. Ball carrier is number eight, James Odom, the quarterback who eludes a pair of tackles and gets to the 44 pending the uh, call as our officials get together and uh, discuss this one. Where it came from, it looked like it came from the area where a hold would be called. And that's exactly what we have. Holding penalty called against uh, Jose Sanchez of uh, Mesa. We'll replay the down. Third and 10 from the 28. Or 
or third and 20 in this case with the penalty. Middle run, gain of about three, and the Wolverine defense will get off the field. It's another stand by the SBVC defense. Again, the offense needs to tr try to get going here. Um, it has not been the cleanest of offensive halves for SBVC. Uh, deep men are Keelan Jackson and Thomas Thompson Jr. And what do we got? That is the end of the first quarter. Clock runs out. That's the end of the first quarter. It's uh, San Diego Mesa 17, SBVC 0. Uh, SBVC will open the second quarter with the ball. And uh, at the after a quarter, we'll go ahead and take toss it to a commercial break here from our sponsors. from SBVC as the uh, San Diego Mesa looks to uh, snap, kick away as the teams change directions for the second quarter. Fair catch is called. And it looks like SBVC will start with possession at the 32. We have a flag late. Let's see what we got here. No call yet from our officials. There was a late flag on the play. Personal foul. Number eight the Pass the First down. And it looks like we have a personal foul called against SBVC. Moves the ball all the way back to the 14 where they will take over. Screen pass complete to number 24, Daquan Davis. Looks like the Wolverines are going to try to go a little hurry up of their own. Uh, no gain on the uh, play. I think that's going to be an offsides on the defense, but let's see what we have here. It's a lot of movement on both sides of the ball. Offsides on the defense, and if there's one thing both sides aren't going to be happy about in this first half, it's going to be the penalties.
over the middle is picked off by the Olympians. Returner is up the right side and taken out at the six. Penalty called uh, on the interception. Looks like it was Jordan Dwyer taken out at the six. Flag on the play. Still waiting from, for the call from the officials as the uh, SBBC training staff attends to an injured player. That's a second turnover by the uh, Olympian defense this half. And again, another turnover which results in a short field for the San Diego Mesa offense. Shout out to former longtime SBVC athletic trainer Mike Sola, who's watching us on the live stream from uh, sunny Florida. Hopefully, everybody's okay there after one of the, those late Atlantic summer hurricanes it's, uh, made a qu quick visit to the Space Coast. Personal foul there on the play um, against SBVC results in a first and goal from the four. Short field for the Olympian offense again as they uh, take over at the four. Number 59, Andrew Castro walked off the field under his own power. Middle run by the Olympians is snuffed out at the one, it looks like. Second and goal for San Diego Mesa with 14.08 left in the half. Handoff is stopped. Looks like no gain. Be third and goal from the one for San Diego Mesa. Snap is bobbled, recovered by, by a Mesa. It'll touchdown San Diego Mesa. That was James Odom on the quarterback keeper after he recovering his own snap. Touchdown uh, Olympians.
And the Olympians are on, special teams unit on for the point after. Chance to make it 24 0 with uh, 12.48 left in the half. Kick is up and good. 24 0 Olympians with 12.48 left to the half. Be a touchback for the Wolverine offense. They'll start at the 25. Really needing to generate something uh, positive here going into the half. Play action. And it looks like the Olympian defense in on another sack. That's number 11, uh, Dajor Paget. That's a jump sack by number 11, Dajor Paget. Five yard loss. That's a five yard sack. Be first and 15 for the Wolverines from the 20. They're showing another blitz look. Screen pass is complete up the left side to That's Williams on the catch, I believe. Wolverine's still trying to stay with this hurry up look. Man in motion. Underneath is complete. That's Jackson on the catch, gets out to the 31 before he's tackled. Jackson is down, being looked at by the SBVC training staff. Be fourth and four from the 31. Let's see how the SBVC offense decides to play this after the injury timeout.
Looks like the punt unit is out, so the Wolverines are not going to gamble on the fourth down here. And honestly, why would you? Back for the Olympians is Isaiah er, Paget again. Tackled just inside the 50 at about the 48. This one's starting to get a little bit chippy on both sides. It's going to be up to this crew, officiating crew to control some of the chippiness. Low snap, recovered. Going for the deep ball here. Complete. Touchdown Olympians on the deep ball from uh, Richie Colmero the third. On the catch was. That's a 48 yard touchdown from Richie Colmero the third. So number seven. Cater Diop on the catch. 30 to nothing Wolverines, 10-37 to the half. 48 yard touchdown uh, pass from uh, Colmenero the third. Who has really been given an opportunity to show off his arm in this opener. Kick is up and it is good for San Diego Mesa. Wolverines taking a 31 to nothing lead with 10:37 to the half. Back on the kickoff for SBVC is going to be Thompson Jr. at his own two. And he's going to go ahead and field it from his goal line. Has a nice head of steam up the middle out to about the 24 where he's tackled. First and 10 Wolverines from the 24. As Meisman and the offense uh, come back out onto the field. Play action underneath is incomplete.
pass is incomplete in and out of the hands of uh, number 81, Jordan Woods, a 5'10", 160 pound freshman from Redlands High School. That's gonna be third and long for the Wolverines. And if you're SBVC right now down 31 nothing, it's about finding little victories in it. And uh, a, a routine catch on a screen pass would have had to been one of those little victories. Um, let's see how they play this. Two men in motion comes set. Blitz is on, pass incomplete. Flag on the play. Illegal substitution. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still four down. Illegal substitution penalty called on the Wolverines. It's another five yard penalty. We take the ball back to the. It's like the 19? 18? with 10 minutes, 16 seconds left in the half. Uh, San Diego Mesa 31, SBVC nothing. Kick is away. Not one of the better punts we've seen. Uh, fumbled by number 11, Paget, Tackled at the 49, it looks like, which is where the Olympians will take over possession. Play action fake. Looks like that was uh, Salas on the carry. Snuffed out for about a two yard loss back to the 49. Second and 10 for the Olympians. Low snap. Pulmonero rolls to his right, pass incomplete. Incomplete pass intended to number 89. Jonathan Littlejohn. Jonathan Littlejohn, the intended receiver. Fans make some noise. It is third down. Third and 13 from their own 49 yard line. Three-step drop, Colmanero. Rolls to his left. Has a man downfield complete. Re reception is by number nine, Josh Tendval. 
Looks like it's going to be just shy of a first down. Penalty on the play. Holding called against the Olympians, 10 yard penalty. So we'll take that back to the 35. 38, my bad. Third and long for the Olympians. One of the few third and longs the uh, Olympian offense has had this evening. Colmanero, quick drop, five step, avoids the tackle. Pass is incomplete. And the Wolverine defense forces a three and out. 8.28 left in the half. The SBVC offense heads back to the field. Still an opportunity for the offense with a couple of scores to generate some momentum, especially since SBVC deferred to the uh, second half kickoff. Kick is up. Fair catch is called for at the 28. And it looks like SBVC will take possession at the 29. Nope, the 30. Low snap, and Meisman falls on it. It's gonna be second and 10 for the SBVC offense from the 29. Second and 11. Blitz is coming, deep ball. Just out of the reach of uh, Ramsey, flag on the play. In the area of a pass interference call. Let's see what we got. It's a 15 yard pass interference penalty for th against the Olympian defense. First down SPVC as the ball moves all the way up to the 44. Ball is out. Little skirmish for the ball. Let's see who has possession. And turnover Olympians, or turnover Wolverines, Olympians ball from the 40. Uh, Meisman dropped the ball for the second time on the series. This time was unable to recover. It'll be San Diego Mesa ball off the turnover with 
7.05 left as Jackson's over there uh, having a discussion with the officials claiming it was a dead ball. That's the third turnover by the Wolverine offense in the half. Man in motion, play action, middle handoff. It was Tate on the carry, it looks like. Down to the 29, 30, no, the 31, 34. Gain of seven, ball is at the uh, 34. Looks like SBVC is going to bring the blitz here. Blitz coming, handoff. Tate up the left side, stays on his feet, gets down to about the 27 before he's down. Nice job by Tate to stay on his feet. Be first down uh, Mesa from the uh, 29. And we got flags all over the place on this one. Looks like it's going to be offsides. Offsides, defense, number 99, five yard penalty, still first down. Offsides is called the f five yard penalty against uh, the Wolverine defense. We'll repeat the down. First and Blitz coming, quick ball over the top, is complete, touchdown. Touchdown Olympians, and things could not be going much better for the Olympian offense today, aside from some of the penalties. Twenty-four yard uh, pass from uh, Colmanero to Geo Burns. 37-0, Olympians with 541 left in the half, point after coming. Point after is up, and it is good. 38-0, San Diego Mesa, 540 left to the half. Kick is up for the Olympians, and it's going to be a touchback. Wolverines take over on the 25. 
really just needing something, any kind of uh, victory on this series for either side of the ball to feel good about going into the half. Low snap, it's gonna be a run for Green on the carry for about two. Blitz coming from the Olympians. Screen coming up the left side is complete. Completion by Green again. Gets out to the... It's out to the 36. That should be a Wolverine first down. It's been a busy night for the uh, Wolverine medical staff, unfortunately. Um, has been quite humid here in the Inland Empire lately, so it could be a cramping situation, but we won't speculate. But unfortunately not. What you, you don't want to have the medical staff this busy on opening night, or ever. And it's Keelan Jackson being carried off the field. Um, first down, first and ten from their own 36 yard Another sack by the Olympian defense. Four forty, coming up on four minutes forty left to the field. That's a loss of uh, nine. Second and nineteen for uh, second and nineteen for the Wolverine offense from the 27.
Quick drop, underneath complete to Bishop Bell, who gets to the uh, 45. Looks like uh, they'll spot that at the 43. SBVC is gonna try to go hurry up here for the last, four, for this series. Olympians looking for the blitz. They pick it up. That's uh, Meisman, the ball carrier. Gets to the 46 as a flag comes in late. And an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty called against SBVC. That's a 15 yard loss of a field position. Resulting in a fourth and long and the punt unit comes out for the Wolverines. Kick is up and away. Back at the 24 is Jordan Young, or Jordan Young, who gets away from the tackle, gets to the 25 before he's forced out. As officials have to separate players. Tell you what, though, as a coach, if you're Yona Yungalele, this is where your leaders are going to have to step up and hold the team together and say, Look, week one didn't go the way we wanted it to. A lot of football left this year. Blitz coming from the uh, Wolverine defense. Read option is snuffed out. It's a sack, looks like a loss of about three. Quick drop, underneath, incomplete. Receiver in the area was number 81. Jordan Dwyer was the receiver in the area. Third down and long for the Olympians. Flag is thrown. I think we're gonna have offsides here, but it looks like our officials are gonna get together and talk this one over. It was not a very particularly convincing throw of the flag. No, they're gonna pick that one up. Might have just fallen out of his uh, pocket. You see he's talking to the SBVC sideline right now.
Coleman Arrow from the gun. Blitz coming. They pick it up. Coleman Arrow throws the deep ball. Over the middle is picked off at the 38. Flag on the pl multiple flags on the play. Number 16, Xavier Carter on the interception, returns it all the way to the 36. That's a big play for the Wolverine defense. Let's see what the penalties are. Multiple flags from multiple areas on the field. Two in the uh, defensive backfield. Uh, and then another one right by the line of scrimmage. Let's see what we got here. All right, so three illegal uh, block in the back penalties called against uh, San Bernardino Valley. First two declined, Mesa took the third one, results in a 15 yard loss for the Wolverine offense. So it'll be first and 10, SBVC, with two minutes and eight seconds to the half from the 31. Still the SBVC defense forces a turnover and the Wolverine offense has an opportunity to go into the half uh, feeling good about themselves. Meisman, three stop, underneath is complete. Tackled at about the 30. On the catch, number 81, Jordan Woods. Pass completed to number 81, Jordan Woods. Looks like a gain of about two. Blitz coming. Throw is high from uh, Meisman, incomplete. Intended receiver, Ramsey. Blitz is picked up, pass complete. Nice moves by uh, Woods to get to the marker or near the marker. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like uh, just shy of the marker. Fourth and two. And the Wolverine offense is gonna go for it. Looks like they got an offsides penalty. Pass complete, oh, incomplete, down the left sideline. No flags on the play. And if that's the case, it's gonna be a turnover on downs, but let's take a look. Yep, they got it. Offsides called on the Olympians. It'll be an automatic first down for the SBVC offense as they keep the drive alive. 78 seconds left in the half. See if SBVC can get on the board here before the half. And... False start is called against the SBVC offense. Five yard penalty makes it first and 15 with 106 left in the half. First and 
first and 15 from their own 39 yard line. First and 15. Blitz is picked up. Meisman carries it himself. Gets most of the penalty yardage back. Gains about four. Makes it second and 11 from the 33. Timeout Wolverines with just under a minute left to the half. Three-step drop. Um, picked off by the Olympian defense, it looks like. Yeah, the Olympians picked that off. It's another turnover for SBVC. And the Olympians have a chance to put some late points here on the board. It's the second interception by the SBVC offense, along with a loss to fumble. San Diego Mesa takes over at the 51 yard line with just over, just 50 seconds it looks like until the intermission. Colmanero play action fake. Underneath pass is complete down the right side and tackled just past the marker. First down, Olympians. Salas on the catch on the screen. Forty-six seconds left to the half as the clock stops. Play action, quick out is complete to the 40. Pass completed to number 11, Dasher Paget. Paget on the catch, it'll be second. So it'll be first down and 10 from the 38 timeout. Um, Timeout, Olympians.
incomplete pass. Pack at the intended receiver. Be third and seven with 17 seconds left in the half. Middle handoff is good for about four or five yards. Downed at the 34. And it looks like that's going to be the half. Oh, timeout, Wolver or timeout Mesa with one second left. Looks like the Olympian field goal unit's going to come on and try. Try to get a field goal here before the half. It's going to be about a 40 yard field goal from this spot on the field. Uh, ball currently spotted at the 33. Looking at about a 40 yard field goal from this spot. And Timeout, San Bernardino Valley. Kick is up, and it is good. A uh, flag on the field, and let's see what we got here. But that was a deep kick. Field goal is good. Flag is picked up, and we are at the half. It is 41. 50 yard field goal. 41 0 San Diego Mesa in front of SBBC at the half. And that takes us to the half. And just for those of you who are just joining us on this uh, Inland Sports live stream, it was not the half you wanted if you were an SBBC fan. Um, just an offense unable to move the ball successfully against this Olympian defense. And the defense really, other than one bright interception, unable to generate any stops. Um, for the Olympians, I think if you're Mesa, the only thing you have to be unhappy about were a couple of offside penalties. But other than that, pretty clean half of football if you're San Diego Mesa. But for SBVC, it's back to the drawing board, and they got another half of football to uh, feel good about themselves heading into week two. It's 41 nothing at the half as we uh, head to break. 
So if you're a team coach and you're looking to get your athletes to run better, here's a few drills that you can do to help reinforce good running mechanics. I'm Coach Bass, we're here at Santiago High School in Corona, and I got my man Kyle with me. Today we're gonna go over another great tech, technical drill um, to enhance acceleration mechanics. We're gonna do what's called a wall strike. So Kyle, you're gonna get against the fence here. All right, Kyle's gonna get a 45 degree lean. He's gonna push those hips in, back straight chest up. He's got his right leg up. When I say switch, he's gonna attack the, uh, the fence with his knee. He's gonna punch it up quickly, then put it back down underneath this hip. Ready, switch, switch. Switch, 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 and relax. So we just wanna get a couple reps here. We don't wanna tax them too much. Just wanna reinforce that piston-like action with our legs. That's one variation of the wall drill. Okay, so what you guys just saw there was, Cal just demonstrated the wall drill, an acceleration wall strike. Uh, the first variation was individual. He was punching his knees, getting that piston-like action. Now we're gonna progress this drill and we're gonna do what's called a three-step. So go ahead and get that 45 degree lean against the fence there, Kyle. All right, punch one leg up. I'm gonna give him two switches. When I say go, he's gonna hit a three-step. Ready, switch, switch, go, go, go. And relax, very good, Kyle. So again, what we're looking for there is just to progress that individual uh, wall strike. Now we start to get those hip flexors firing uh, with the three-step. Okay, so we're back here with Kyle. We've done the wall drill, the acceleration wall strike. All right, we've done an individual, we've done a three-step. Now, Kyle's looking pretty good. He's got the mechanics, he's ready to progress. So now we're gonna go continuous. So we're gonna get that 45 degree lean against the fence. He's gonna have one leg up, one leg down. Okay, I'm gonna give him two switches and then when I say go, he's gonna get after it. Here we go, ready, switch, switch, go. Get it, get it, get it, come on, come on, punch, 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 stop. And relax, very good there. So. That's the final progression. Now we're just gonna get those hip flexors firing. And then we wanna hold at the top, get that isometric contraction. So there you guys have it. We have the wall drill and all of its progressions from individual to three step to continuous. This is a great drill to execute with your team when you need them to run better. Execute it, see the results, boost man. The Inland Sports Show is proud to partner with Dr. Marcus Paulson and Paulson Orthodontics in Redlands. Dr. Paulson and his team work with children, teens, and adults using orthodontic products like traditional braces and Invisalign to make a difference in the appearance, comfort, and function of each patient's teeth. Paulson Orthodontics welcomes new patients, so schedule a visit today. Paulson Orthodontics, we make braces fun. And this segment of the Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Kent Sporting Goods in Norco, number one in the Inland Empire for team uniforms, sports equipment, and letterman's jackets. Boost Performance Training in Corona. Athletes of all levels and all sports train at Boost. And also ask about the Bass Sprite.
So RCC 28, Long Beach 21 at half. Uh, Mount Sac 16, Mount San Jacinto nothing at half. Okay. Count me in. And we're back on the Inland Sports YouTube channel. Uh, it's 41-0 uh, San Diego Mesa over SBVC here at Death Valley. In other scores around the JC area, RCC is up in a dogfight at Long Beach, 28-21 at half. Also in another game involving an area team, Mount San Jacinto trails on the road at Mount San Antonio, 16-0. The Eagles will open their home slate next week against Citrus at the new Menifee of Alley Campus Stadium that was just recently completed. Uh, women's soccer has already played a couple of matches on the field and they were the first to uh, get to play a home contest there. But here at Death Valley, it's it was just a rough first half for the Wolverines. I mean, we take a look at some of the statistics here. Passing yardage was uh, Mesa 165 to the Wolverines 48. Um, the two uh, San Diego quarterbacks combined to go 12 for 23 with 165 yards in passing. Wolverines will start with the ball. Thompson returns it to the 15. And at this point, you know, 41 nothing. If you're SBVC, you're looking for little victories to take into week two. A couple of scores here, a couple of stops. Just little victories that you can take into practice this week and say, hey, look, guys, we, we, we generated some momentum at the end of the game heading into next week. First and 10 Wolverines from the 15. And at the controls of the SBVC offense coming out of the break is going to be Rick, Ricky Sampson Jr. to start on the first series. Uh, quarterback keeper up the left side, downed at the 11. A gain of about one. Goes middle run up the left side. Ball airborne. Uh, incomplete pass. Uh, Isaiah Hughes on the catch was forced out of bounds. Third down for the Wolverines. At the half, uh, Cole Meisman was 8 of 21 with uh, 48 yards passing, two interceptions, and a fumble recovery or a fumble lost, or two fumbles lost. Blitz coming from the uh, Olympians. Sidearm pass down the left sideline, incomplete. Penalty flags on the play. Bishop Bell, the intended receiver. As the officials sort this one out. It's like a penalty in the SBVC's favor. Brings the ball to about the 22, 23 yard line. As the chains reset. Third down and about 13. Oh, first, automatic first down on the penalty. Thompson complete, left side. Vasquez on the pass, Woods on the reception, gets the ball out to the SBVC 
22. Back to the original line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Low snap. Keeps it himself. Vasquez on the keeper gets to about the 37. Uh, they're going to mark him down at the 30. Third and short, quick snap. Underneath throw complete to Tyler Russell up the left sideline. Get forced out at about the 44. That's a first down for the Wolverines. And it looks like Isaiah Vasquez, a 5'10", 188-pound freshman from Etiwanda, is starting to move the ball for the Wolverine offense um, after the struggles of Meisman in the first half. And we got a penalty on the play. False start on the Wolverines. It's just one of those deals where it's two steps forward, one step back. It's a five-yard penalty for the false start. Makes it second and 10 from the 39. A little bit of a low snap over the top. Pass is incomplete. Intended receiver was Hughes. On the pass breakup was Second and 15 for SBVC. Low snap under the uh, legs of Vasquez. Pass is thrown and incomplete. Near interception. In and out of the hands of Brandon Worsley. Third and 15 for the Wolverines. What do we got? It's like another false start against the Wolverine offense. Yep, that is another false start penalty. That's two in the last three snaps for the SBVC offense. And that overall is the 13th penalty of the night for SBVC. Over the middle, incomplete. No flags on the play. and the Wolverine special teams unit comes back out onto the field. Kick is away. Flag on the field. The Wolverine, or it'll be San Diego Mesa ball at the 28, it looks like. 
41 0, 12 08 left to go in the third quarter as the officials uh, get together to try to sort this one out. Total number of penalties was uh, 18 for 155 yards at the half for the two teams. And I think we're picking that up. So it is going to be Olympian ball at the 34. First and 10 for San Diego Mesa. First and 10 Mesa from the 36. My apologies on the spot. Handoff, middle run. That is Salas down, or no, Tate down the left sideline. Pushed out at about the 18. Tavion Tate broke, broke open down the left side, was forced out at the 18-yard uh, line, S and uh, San Diego Mesa is in really good shape in their opening series of the second half. Nice run from Tate there, who showed some ni shift, nice uh, shifty moves, uh, breaking a couple of tackles, and then broke one open down the left side. Cole Monero at the controls of the SD Mesa offense. Handoff middle, this time is for Salas, I think. Short gain, if any, on the play. No gain, it is second and 10 from the 19 for SD Mesa. Handoff is for number 27, Danny Davis, a six foot, 220 pound freshman. Gain of about three. It is third and nine for the Olympians. Colmenero, three-step drop, steps up. Underneath throw is complete up the right side to the six, the receiver spins and gains another couple yards before he's downed at the two. First down on the hands. Pass completed from Ricky Clemenero the third to number 13, Jordan Young. Jordan Young on the catch, takes it all the way down to the two. First and goal Olympians with 10.06 left in the third quarter. And we got penalty, we got flags all over the place on this one. False start against the Olympians, five yard penalty, repeat the down. Colmanero from the shotgun. 
steps, rolls to his left, steps up, throws. Touchdown, Olympians. Coleman Arrow two. Colmanero's pass was complete for a touchdown to uh, Geo Burns pending the penalty. Looks like we have a penalty on the play, though. After the personal foul, first and goal from the 22-yard line. Personal foul is called on the offense. Makes it first and goal from the 22. Yeah, one big, that's going to be one thing that uh, San Diego Mesa looks at on this box score and sees is the high number of penalties. Um, but other than that, it's been a pretty solid performance for the Olympians. Middle run called for is snuffed out. Tavion Tate on the carry. No gain, second and goal from the 22. Pass is complete. Pass is complete to Young. Gain of about seventeen, ball down to the five. Makes it third and goal from the four. Colmanero, middle run, calls his own number. Gets about two. Rushing play by the quarterback, number three, Ricky Colmanero the third. And the Olympians call for the field goal unit. Kick is up, and it is good. It's a 44 to nothing with 7.05 left in the third quarter. Penalties on the field. as we wait to see what the call is. Personal foul called against the Wolverine special teams unit, roughing the kicker, the penalty. 
makes it an automatic first down for San Diego Mesa. Looking at a short field. 7.05 left in the third quarter. As the Olympian offense takes possession. Or continues the possession. First and goal from the two. Middle run up the middle is stopped for a loss, it looks like. No gain. Santiago Salas on the carry. For no gain. Coming up on six and a half minutes left on the, in the third quarter. Handoff middle again is snuffed out by the Wolverine run defense. And at this point, it's all elementary for the uh, San Diego Mesa offense. Just run the clock out. Both hat. Uh, and um, for the Wolverines, at least... The run defense is uh, snuffing out some of these middle runs, but I mean, the outcome is well decided at this point. Coming up on 540 left in the third quarter. Man in motion for the Olympians. Colmenero rolls to his right, steps up, and uh, falls down. Loss of about five. Field goal unit comes back onto the field and we're right back to where we started <laughs> before the personal foul penalty. Loss of seven yards on the play. That brings up fourth down and goal. Kick is up, and it looks like blocked by the Wolverines. Kick is no good. Wolverines take over on downs. 41-0 Mesa with 4.47 left in the third. Wolverines force a turnover on downs with a blocked field goal. And so far tonight, both of the bright spots for the Wolverines have been on the defensive end of the field. And and the SBVC offense returns to the field. Vasquez at the controls. Wolverines take over at the 20 with Vasquez at the controls. Showed some good signs of moving the ball downfield in the last series. Three-step drop, Vasquez steps up over the middle complete to number 81, Jordan Woods. Wolverines are going to go hurry up here. Quick middle run, it is good for a first down, Wolverines. First down, Wolverines. Clock runs now on the uh, change of, uh, on a first down in NCAA, so clock keeps running. Coming up on four minutes left in the third, but the Wolverines start, 
This is the best looking Wolverine possession of the night so far. Play action, over the top, incomplete, no flags on the play, in and out of the hands of, um, in and out of the hands of Ramsey, a uh, little bit of a jersey grab, and you can hear the Wolverine crowd wanting a flag for pass interference, N none coming. Second and 10 Wolverines. Over the middle, nearly picked off, off the knee of uh, number 24, Jaden Jackson. Tyler Russell, the intended receiver. Blitz coming. That's going to draw a flag. Flags all over the place on that one. That should be pass interference with a 15-yard automatic first down for the Wolverines. Pass interference on the defense. That's a 15 yard penalty for automatic first down. First down, Wolverines. Wolverines maintain possession. Ball advances to the 40 as the series continues. Over the top, downfield, incomplete, just out of the reach of uh, Ramsey. Good look from Vasquez, just out of the reach of Ramsey. Blitz is picked up. Out of the hands of uh, Ramsey again. Incomplete. Third and 10 for SBVC from the 40. Blitz coming, and that's a sack from the Olympian defense, downed at about the 30.
set to number 36, Tyron Washington. Tyron Washington on the sack. Washington was a six yard sack. That brings up fourth down and 16. Forces fourth and 16, and the Wolverine special team teams unit is back on the field for the punt. Two minutes, five seconds left in the third. 41 nothing Olympians. High snap recovered. Kick is up. Might have been partially blocked, but it does take a bounce. Out of bounds at about the 41, which is where San Diego Mesa will take over. High snap, Colmanero screen pass complete to Salas down the left sideline, forced out just past midfield of flag on the play. Yeah, flag on the play. Looks like it'll be against the Olympians. Second and 10 from the 39. Man in motion, I formation. Salas on the carry, gets some of that yardage back, gets to the 48. Gain of about nine, should be third and three. Third and four from the 47 officially. Colmanero in the backfield with two back with him. Brings the man in motion. Colmanero drops, steps up, underneath it, throw is incomplete. Now we have third down, third and four from the 47. 22 seconds left in the third. Moves the back to his left side. Colmanero drops, steps up over the middle, complete to the four, 37, first down Olympians. On the catch is number 14, Jordan Blondin. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Oh, looks like they're gonna get one more snap off. Five seconds left, four, three. And that's the quarter. After three quarters, it's 41 to nothing. San Diego Mesa in front of SBBC. And we'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. As a reminder, SBBC asks that all spectators remain off the track and field during and after the game. Only cleared essential personnel is allowed on the track and field area before, during, and after.
get those 50-50 tic tickets out right now. Go ahead and get those 50-50 tickets out right now. Okay, we're doing it. Get those 50-50 tickets out. Okay, I see some people. The winning raffle ticket for $117. The winning ticket number is 825-685. will net you $117. If you have the winning ticket, please come up to the public address booth. Once again, 825-685. And a flag to start the fourth quarter. Correction, no flag on the play. First down and 10 from the 38 for San Diego Mesa to start the fourth quarter. Blitz coming, picked up nicely by the offensive line. Colmanero complete down the left side. Receiver is knocked out at the 28. Jonathan Littlejohn on the reception. Handoff, ball carrier up the left side, down at the 21. Quick throw out, quick screen pass to the left. Receiver tackled right at the marker. Should be a first down Olympians at about the 19. Third and a short one, third and a long one. From the 19, handoff, nope. Incomplete pass, in and out of the hands of Jordan Blondin. Be fourth down and one for the Olympians at the 19. And let's see how the Olympians decide to play this. Thirteen fifteen left in the fourth. Looks like the box is loaded as SBVC anticipates a run. Quarterback keeper. Nope is good, first down San Diego Mesa. Clock continues to run. First and 10 from the 19 for San Diego Mesa. Danny Davis, the carrier on the previous run.
Run around the right edge. Ball carrier down at the 15. Davis on the carry. Devin Alvin on the tackle. Tackle for a loss of about three by the Wolverine defense. flag on the play that's the second interception for the Wolverine defense on the evening penalty flags on the play let's see what the officials have on the call flag came in from the far side Personal foul on the defense, roughing the passer is called against SBVC. Wipes away the interception and gives the Olympians an automatic first down. 11 minutes, nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ball on the 10 for San Diego Mesa after the penalty. Pass complete to number 27, Danny Davis, downed at the three. Running the offense for Mesa is uh, Lang Tyson Lang, a 6'2", 200-pound sophomore. Cole Monero had himself a pretty solid opening night. Actually, both Mesa quarterbacks did. And now Lang is in to finish, the, finish it off. Handoff, touchdown Olympians. That's uh, Tavion Tate on the touchdown with 10 minutes and one second left on the clock at SBVC. It's 47 nothing San Diego Mesa in front of the Wolverines with the point after pending. Three yard run for Tate on the touchdown. His first of the game. point after coming kick is up and it is good oh. nope 
Point at point after is no good. My bad. It is 47 nothing San Diego Mesa in front of SBVC with 10:01 left in the fourth. Wolverines will take over after the kickoff. For the health and safety of the players, officials and other fans, San Bernardino Valley College asks that all spectators please remain off the track and field immediately after tonight's game. Please plan to meet with student athletes in areas off of the track and play surface after the teams have cleared the field. Thank you. Touchback for the Wolverines. They'll take over at the 25. Pitch to the right side. First down, Wolverines. Tyler Russell on the on the option pitch runs it up the right side for a full first down. Rush play by number eight. Oh, Antoine, Antoine Fowler on the rush. Seventeen yards on the rush. Vasquez on the deep ball. Incomplete, flags all over the place. Looks like a pass interference on the defense. Ball is spotted at the 43-yard line. As that's an automatic first down. Throw over the middle, complete. And another flag. Catch was complete by Woods. Penalty after the play. Personal foul called against the San Diego Mesa defense. It's another 15-yard penalty with an automatic first down for SBVC. Ball advances to the 
22 it looks like. And another flag, I believe this is gonna be offsides. Yep, offsides against the defense. That's another five yard penalty against San Diego Mesa. Repeat first down. Makes it first and five from the 17. Coming up on nine minutes left in the fourth quarter on this one. Another pitch to the right side. Fowler on the carry out at about the 10. It's like the 12, actually. First down, Wolverines. A six-yard gain by Antoine Fowler. First and 10 from the 11-yard line. First and 10. Vasquez to his left, chased by three Olympian defenders, gets to the nine before he's tackled. Flag on the play. Penalties really starting to add up in this one. Holding on the defense is the call. Ball advances to the five. After the penalty, second down and three. Second and three from the five for SBVC with 7-10 left to go. Vasquez, pass is incomplete. Isaiah Hughes was the intended receiver. Vasquez rolls to his right, throws into traffic, passes incomplete. Bell. 
And the field goal unit will come on for SBVC. Oh no, fourth down fake is picked off by the Olympians defense. Boy, if that's not a theme of the night, I don't know what is. Fourth, fourth and goal trick play from the three is picked off by San Diego Mesa. Olympians preserve the shutout with 6.52 left and will take over on downs from the two. Underneath pass is complete. To number 14, Jordan Blondin. No gain on the play. Pass complete. And the blitz gets there. That's a sack by the SBVC defense. Jonah Susu and is in on the sack. First sack of the night for the Wolverine defense. and the San Diego Mesa punt unit is on the field. Punt is up. Fair catch called for. Takes a bounce, out of bounds at the 44, or the 46. And that's where SBVC will take over possession. Four minutes, 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. snap recovered. Vasquez tries to elude the tackler. He's down. For number 41, Adrian Davis on the sack. Loss of four on the play. So second down and 14 from the 49. Or 
Low snap, Vasquez throws is complete to Russell. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Three receivers stacked at the bottom of the formation. Vasquez, play fake is good for about five. Daquan Davis on the carry, ball down to the 41. Makes it fourth down and five with just under two, three minutes to go. Vasquez rolls to his right. Dump pass over the top is incomplete. Turnover on downs. Ramsey, the intended receiver. San Diego Mesa will take over on downs with two minutes, 24 seconds left on the clock. Probably be just a couple of runs and then uh, kill the clock from here. And the Olympians will head home to San Diego with their first victory of the 2023 season.
Third and 10 for Mesa with just over 75 seconds left in this one. Olympians just trying to run out the clock and uh, head home with uh, the first victory of the 2023 campaign. And that's a final from SBVC. Final score, 47 nothing. San Diego Mesa over SBVC. Um, tough start for, to the uh, Ayana Ungaleli era at SBVC. And for San Diego Mesa, I think the only thing you have to be unhappy about is the high number of penalties for this opening uh, game. Um, thanks for watching here on the Inland Sports YouTube channel. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe, give it a like, and uh, we'll see you on the Inland Sports Show this Wednesday at 6 p.m. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, everybody. My name is Daryl Trujillo. For Pep Fernandez, again, thanks for joining us.